Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, one thing you always hear about Elementary OS is Elementary is a Mac OS X clone. They copied everything from Apple, or such things. But it is true that Elementary OS borrows from the attention to detail and aesthetics of Apple's OS. There are some differences that make it a completely independent OS, which does not aim to reproduce Mac OS X on a Linux base. So I'd like to take a little look of what's similar and what's very different between Elementary OS and Mac OS. Let's start with the similarities. While Elementary OS tries to do its own thing, there are some marked similarities between the two OS's, notably in the graphics department. Elementary OS uses a similar desktop layout as Mac OS, with a top panel with indicators on the right and a dock to launch applications. This layout is pretty typical of Mac OS X, and Elementary OS chose to borrow this behavior on the surface anyway. The close button for Windows is on the left side of the window, again, a pretty specific macOS design feature and the opposite of Windows, for example. Then again, Elementary OS does not follow the same window control layout as macOS X. On both systems, applications have very descriptive names. Mail, photos, calendar, notes on macOS or files on Elementary. This is the easiest way to make sure that users are able to find which app does what and is a general good design practice that Elementary and macOS follows. The Elementary OS theme obviously looks a bit like Mac OS X. While the icons are not that close, being less flat and more colorful than Elementary, the rest of the design seems like it was heavily inspired by Mac OS X. Blue highlights, soft grays, with blue and white buttons, it is pretty close to the latest iterations of Mac OS X. Okay, but these are only surface similarities. If you could mistake one for the other by looking at just a screenshot, some of the desktop behaviors are in no way comparable. First, apps minimize by default to the dock, not on a separate spot of the dock. This is a behavior you can enable on Mac OS X, but not the default. This is an important shift in the way the desktop behaves, since Mac OS X treats each window as an individual icon on the dock, while Elementary OS considers the application as a whole. Dock indicators mirror this, since Mac OS X will always show one bright dot under the running apps, when Elementary OS shows one dot per window of said app. The top bar might look like Mac OS X, but its functionality is very different. It hosts no menu bar, since Elementary OS is trying to do away with these. Menus are embedded in the programs window when they exist, contrary to Mac OS X, where a menu bar is always displayed up top. On the top panel, you'll also get quick access to the calendar and some meetings, which you can't do on Mac OS X, and the Applications menu, which does not exist in menu form on Mac OS, since it uses an iOS-inspired launcher to start applications. The Applications menu also serves as a way to search for applications or do simple calculations, like a very light version of Spotlight on macOS. Finally, the indicators on the right part of the panel are also way more detailed and illustrated, compared to those on Apple's OS which are basically just menus with nothing more to help you figure out how to use them or to attract your eye. Window controls might look similar on the surface, but they are different. Elementary OS does use a left-handed close button, but the Maximize button is stored on the right side of the window and there is no Minimize button, you need to click on an Apps icon on the dock to minimize. Maximizing does not bring an application full screen in its own virtual desktop, contrary to macOS, and you can quickly maximize or snap a window on half your screen but just by dragging it to the top or to the side. It's way more efficient than the equivalent implementation on macOS X. Elementary OS also does not use transparency effects everywhere. Its theme uses solid colors and does not let any part of the desktop show behind windows. Some may find this less attractive, but I personally prefer this approach to the one Apple is taking with macOS. Elementary OS is also a lot more open than Apple's own OS. On the surface, it might seem similar with an App Store on macOS X and the App Center on Elementary, but these systems are different. The Mac App Store is the only place from which you can install apps by default. If it's not in the App Store, you can't use it. On Elementary OS, the App Center is way more useful. It proposes a lot more programs and more useful ones too, such as Firefox, Chromium, LibreOffice, GIMP, which you cannot find on the Mac OS uh, App Store. For specific Elementary OS apps, you can even decide how much you want to pay for them instead of being locked to a required asking price. And since almost all your programs can be installed from it, it means you have to update everything from one place, instead of having to use mismatched uh, installer and updaters from every app you will use on Mac OS X. And if you can't find what you're looking for, you can always install Flatpaks, Deb, Snap packages, which you can't do by default on Mac OS X without compromising the system security. Finally, Elementary OS is obviously an open source libre software operating system. All the source code is available to download, tweak, redistribute, and improve. 
Unlike OS X, you can run the Pantheon desktop environment on other distributions and even change the icons, the theme and the behavior of some elements, even if it's to make it look more like Mac OS X. So there is not only a difference in terms of the behavior of the applications, of the menus, of the system indicators and of the dock, but there is also a difference in terms of philosophy, of uh, mentality and of uh, presentation. So I hope you guys enjoyed, hopefully this video debunked a few preconceptions about elementary OS and showed that the similarities are nothing more than skin deep. I hope to see you guys in the next one and goodbye. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.